Hello and welcome. This is a lecture series designed to introduce you to the standards for the 8th grade English language arts. Please have paper and pencils ready to take notes. Let's get started. There will be times that I ask you to pause the video and write down what is on the screen. The better your notes, the better it will help you later on when you have assignments in this standard. This standard is for the Oklahoma Standard A.4.R.1, 8th grade, 4th standard, reading, point one. The language of this standard reads, Students will increase knowledge of academic, domain-appropriate, grade-level vocabulary to infer meaning of grade-level text. Let's break this down so that we can understand a little bit more how a student is going to develop a robust vocabulary in order to meet those demands of the future grades and increase their lexile level. Please pause the video and write down the language of this standard. You need to activate your prior knowledge. Think about vocabulary and think about different things you've learned in your English class in the past. Use your prior knowledge of prefixes and suffixes and Latin root words and Greek root words to determine the meaning of words that you are unsure of. There are different ways for us to look at a brand new word that we encounter in our readings to figure out what that word means, other than just going to get a dictionary or Googling it. Contextual analysis can help a student learn how to predict and verify word meaning of unfamiliar words or even familiar words that have a new or an unusual meaning. Whenever a student searches for clues in nearby words or sentences and paragraphs of a text, that's using context. Specific context clues should be explicitly taught and we're going to be looking at these. Let's first look at definition and explanation. So an example of a clue in the sentence of a word you've never heard before is here. So let's look at this example. So our example sentence says, access to clean water would ameliorate and improve upon living conditions within the village. So in this type of clue, they give you a definition or an ex explanation for an unfamiliar word. Are you unfamiliar with the word ameliorate? See what it says directly after it in the comma, there in that small clause, it says, and improve upon. So that's a definition or an explanation of what ameliorate would, would be. So in the next type of clue, we have synonym and restatement. So in this sentence, it would say, Access to clean water would ameliorate living conditions within the village such that life would be tolerable for the people who live there. So see, they restated what ameliorate would be. Are you figuring out what the word ameliorate means with these different types of clues? So the third thing would be an antonym or contrast. Access to clean water would ameliorate living conditions within the village, whereas Continued reliance on polluted river would exacerbate a bad situation. So they're contrasting what clean water would be like whenever the living conditions are ameliorated versus what it would be like if they continued to rely on polluted river water. So the fourth type of clue that we may encounter is an inference or general contextual clue. In this example, Access to clean water would ameliorate living conditions within the village. Clean water would make life tolerable as residents would, could focus on other pressing needs such as finding food and shelter. So it gives and it infers what ameliorate means and it also kind of gives you the general contextual clues just by the explanation in the second sentence. So the last type of clue we're going to look at is punctuation. Notice here it says, access to clean water would ameliorate, make tolerable, living conditions within the village. So 
Those dashes separated out, basically, the definition of what amelioration means. It was using punctuation to help you to define that one word. It is very important to learn these types of clues. Please pause the video and write down these five types of clues for contextual analysis of words with unfamiliar meanings. You do not have to write the examples of the clue, but I highly suggest that you do. Please pause the video now. So we want to look at surrounding phrases. We want to train ourselves to look at surrounding phrases. If we are working on increasing our vocabulary by increasing our lexile complexity of our text that we are reading, or in other words, reading harder books, then we need to train ourselves to look at those surrounding phrases. So to use context, for example, the overall meaning of a sentence or a paragraph, a word's position or function in a sentence, as a clue to the meaning of a word or phrase. Please pause the video and write down what you find important on this screen about learning or using context. You may be asking yourself, how can I increase my knowledge of vocabulary like the standard wants me to? Number one, read, read, rend, read. You need to be reading every day. The older you get, the more you should be reading. In about 8th grade, you should be reading about 30 to 45 minutes a day for sustained reading. That means you need to be sitting still in a quiet place with your book and reading with no distractions. No texting, no social media, just reading. This is going to ensure your success later on in college as well. Also, whenever you are reading, especially if you are reading for school, Keep a dictionary and thesaurus handy. You can find many free applications on your telephone or on the internet. Another good practice is to use a journal, a writing journal. You should be writing in a journal every day. It doesn't have to be a lot. It can just be a few sentences. Are you not sure what to write in your writing journal? Or if your teacher hasn't provided you with writing prompts for a writing journal, you can Google that and you can find writing journal prompts and it will help you to decide what to write on. Writing every day with a paper and pencil in a book is a very happy experience. I highly encourage you to do it. Number four, learn a word a day. There's a lot of word of day calendars or just Google a word you might have heard. Look one up. Number five, Go back to your roots. Break down those words to their roots. Try to figure out what maybe the Latin root is for something or the Greek word is for something. Look down at the roots of the words. Play games. There are fun games that are free on your phone. Word games. Play word games with your friends. Number seven, engage in conversations. Physical conversations. Talk to people of all ages. When you're out in the public, say you're at the store, greet the customer that's next to you or in the line behind you. Greet the cashier. Talk to somebody in the aisle. Reach out to people on the bus. Talk to people of all ages, and you may hear different types of vocabulary words that you might not be familiar with. Please go back to number one for everyone. Read, read, and read. So in our standard, it said you need to learn domain-specific vocabulary. What does that mean? That means words that go along with certain professions or subjects. For example, we'll look at some of these domain-specific vocabularies. Please pause the video and write down the definition of domain-specific vocabulary. Let's first look at some terminology for medical or science. Have you ever heard of the word osmosis? How about cell membrane or cytoplasm? These are words that you may hear in a science class. In English class, how about the word onomatopoeia, one of my favorite words. 
onomatopoeia, a word that imitates the sound it represents, like pop. Also, how about the word synonyms? What about words like this in physical education? Calorie or aerobic. Did you know that the internet has its own language? I'm sure you do. Technology in the internet has its own type of specific vocabulary, such as the word internet or website. What about slang that you use for your friends? Have you ever used BRB, be right back? or BFN, bye for now. These are slang that are particular to the internet. Let's look at our standard vocabulary and how it reads again. Eighth grade, standard four, reading point one for the Oklahoma Academic Standards says that students will increase knowledge of academic, domain appropriate, grade level vocabulary to infer meaning of grade level text. Now that we have looked at it, make sure that you understand what the standard means. Now you can practice these skills with assignments from your teacher or from your parent and then take an assessment to ensure mastery of that skill. Thank you for joining me today.